You've seen the mace is a disgrace. No different than AOC. <laughs> I, 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 oh. I want. Right. Let's talk to your constituents who who feel like your actions and words in the past few weeks have helped embolden people like the shifts, the Brennans and the Democrat regime, frankly, that you're now having to play along yeah. with. I am listening to everybody and I've been taking these calls for, for weeks now and I will I will talk to anybody and and show up anywhere and, and have this discussion. I mean the part of the American experiment is to have this be able to have this debate, but also have this debate without being attacked physically, personally, et cetera. Um, and I gotta tell you, this is one of the, the worst things I've ever been through in my life, the events of January sixth. And I think one of the reasons I was so vociferous in the way that I responded because I do hold us to a higher standard because we're better than that. And we don't have the moral authority. If we don't hold ourselves accountable and and take that seriously, then we can't hold the left accountable. And, you know, I was vocal all summer against BLM and Antifa and the violence, and uh, not only during the King Street riots here in Charleston, but across the country. And I took on AOC this week because she doesn't have the moral authority when she's been quiet and silent on the left, when the left has uh, their rhetoric has induced violence in, in, across the country and been quiet. Or when GOP members of Congress were shot at by Bernie supporters. And so, um, you know, I believe I have more credibility on this issue than AOC and others on the left who are trying to call us racist and bigots and white supremacists. And, and we're not. And, um, and I was a very vocal voice, but I have that credibility. I can take them on because I did it. And we've got to be consistent about how we keep each other accountable and responsible, but we use the Constitution as our guide. I mean, I 